ago, I did a video on casting your desktop to a Chromecast so that you could see whatever you were doing on your desktop uh, on your large screen TV. Apparently, someone uh, put in a comment he couldn't get it to work because the menus have changed. Uh, so I'm going to go through it again with the new menus. So we're on our basic desktop here and we're going to bring up Chrome, the browser. Okay, here we have our browser. We're going to go to the Chromecast emblem up here in the upper right. Click that. Now we have our different Chromecasts here. Ignore that for now. Up here in the upper right of that box, you have a down facing arrow. Click that. We now have three choices cast this tab, cast this tab op optimized for audio, cast screen window experimental. Click that. You can now pick the room you want to send it to. So we would click the Chromecast we want and then pick the screen we want. And we'll now click share and you will be good to go. Okay, and now to stop, you would stop the casting. The only difference appears to be you no longer have to ask the question and audio, which was in the first one. It now does the audio automatically. So oh, now we have our desktop and let's bring up Internet Explorer and we'll go to uh, YouTube and we'll just pick a video uh, from somewhere in here. How about cutting foam? And that should be showing up on the computer, which you can probably hear in the background. So I'm going to move the camera so you can see it on the TV. So we'll put that on hold, and we're going to move the camera now. So here we have our paused video on our big screen TV. This is in an AV system and now we'll unpause it and you can see the desktop is still casting. So this is Internet Explorer. We're using not Chrome to do this. So here we have the audio. We're playing this through Internet Explorer as I said and uh, you can see it works. The procedures the procedure is a little simpler than it used to be but uh, it works. Now, we'll try something else just to make sure it works in all fields. So we'll get out of the Internet Explorer and let's go into our music files and see if we can cast that. Oops, wrong one. So now we're casting a music file from our desktop to the uh, audio video system. It's a surround sound system, so now we can listen to it in seven channel stereo if we want. So there you go. The desktop casting still works. The menus are a little different, but not a major deal. You know, so play with it and enjoy. And we're sh we'll shut this down and exit. And as you can see, we were able to step through everything on our desktop and it was just mirrored to the TV. So have a great night. And